A student was hospitalized overnight after he was knocked unconscious during a fight at George Washington High School. And now school administrators and police are investigating. The disturbing result was caught on camera. We'd like to warn you that the footage may not be suitable for everyone. The school fight happened yesterday at the George Washington High Campus. It appeared to be staged. Two students are seen getting into a fighting stance and then going at each other. But the fight takes a dangerous turn, as you can see here. Acting Superintendent of Education Joe Sanchez says a school nurse and a school resource officer immediately responded and medics were called to the scene. So he was trans transported to uh, GMH okay. and uh, uh, stayed overnight for observation. Mm -hmm. uh, I was told that he received a CT scan and then later on, sometime earlier in this, this morning, he was released to his parents okay. and, and they're, they're uh, monitoring him. Okay. Sanchez says in addition to a school investigation, Guam police are also looking into the matter. Well, I believe that the first thing would be, they'll be working with the school. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if uh, if arrests do need to take place and whatnot, they'll they'll make that decision. Okay. But a lot of it would be done in collaboration with the school. School fight videos are not uncommon, and in fact, several fight videos made headlines in recent years. But this particular video appeared to be more disturbing, as the student was knocked unconscious and hit his head on the pavement. At the end of the video, the other student who landed the kick is seen rushing to his aid and trying to wake him up. As you can see in the video, the student's head was bleeding from the fall. This video comes just a few weeks after a similar video circulated on social media of bodyboarder Brian Cruz. Cruz was knocked unconscious. His head also slammed into the pavement. Unfortunately, Cruz succumbed to his injuries, described by the medical examiner as a severe skull fracture. The man accused of delivering the fatal blow, J.C. White, now facing manslaughter charges. It's, it's, it's very troubling. I mean, uh, especially as you described it, where it may not even be the initial hit, whether it be a punch or, or a kick, but if the individual falls down and hits their head on the pavement or any type of object, or if there's sharp objects around and you're falling on, and, you know, on, on top of them, I mean, there could, there could be uh, some serious injuries. While a student was hospitalized as a result of this particular fight, Sanchez says on a positive note, this could serve as a lesson for students who engage in this kind of behavior. Unfortunately, we can use this as a teachable moment. These students need to understand that you don't have to wait to the point where someone gets injured. I mean, you could think ahead and know that, hey, these, the, this, this could result in physical injury, and unfortunately, sometimes it could be fatal. Mm -hmm. In this particular case, thank God it wasn't fatal, you know, but, but uh, this, is, this is a chance for us to kind of remind all students that you need to really think about the decisions that, that you make when you engage in activities like this. Yeah. Again, school officials will be meeting with the students and their parents.